2009-2010 Madden Challenge kicked off its first event in Dallas, Texas. The best players from around the country came to compete for their spot in the Madden 10 Championships and for the title of the best player in Madden 10. At the end of the weekend, only two players remained undefeated in the winner's bracket. This is the winner's bracket finals match between Jet Steel and Dirt. Seasoned veteran Jet Steel steamrolled his way through the winner's bracket, dominating all of his opponents by double digits, including huge wins over big name ballers DJ and Chow. Dirty quickly emerged as one of the best players in Dallas. He fought his way through one of the toughest brackets, knocking out top players such as Young Nephew, SJR, Secret, and Boy Blue. Dury has been the underdog in each of his matchups, but no one has been able to stop his incredible Michael Vick running game. Touchdown, Philly. We knew it was going to be a tough road getting here because Dallas, first MLG event, we knew it was going to be a lot of killers, but I've gotten some breaks and I'm here right now. I'm just trying to win, Put, keep focus on this game. He's got the Eagles and Vic, of course. He's going to do a little QB draw, and I'm going to run the ball with Michael Turner, so that's my strategy. Derby opened the game, executing his Michael Vick rushing strategy to perfection. After three plays, Derby put seven points on the board with a 41-yard touchdown run. To the 10. Touchdown, Next, it was Jets' turn. Jet Steel game charging right back with the Atlanta Falcon ground attack. Five straight rushes, including a 50-yard sprint from Michael the Burner Turner. In the second quarter, Jet Steel started to figure out how to stop the run of Derby's Eagles. Jet's defense forced an early fumble, but Derby was able to recover. On the very next play, Jet picked up his first sack of the game. He's dragged down. Facing third and nine, Derby proved Vic could do it all, converting with a perfectly placed pass to Deshaun Jackson. Rolling left. Vic was hit hard on the play, but to Derby's relief, was able to come back in the game. Derby continued to drive down the field, completing another pass to Jackson for 12 more yards, and finished strong with another big run by Vic. Trailing by seven, Jet marched down the field with Michael Turner, but was stopped inches short on third down. With the ball on his 40, Jet called for a no huddle, and brute forced his way to a first down. With a minute and 20 left in the half, Jet connected with Jenkins on a 24-yard hot route on his first pass of the game. Leaping catch. With the ball in Eagles territory, Derby's defense made a stand, stopping two Falcon rush attempts and breaking up a pass on third and long. Jet was held to just a field goal and had to kick off to Derby's dangerous offense with 46 seconds remaining on the clock. Dury opened his drive with another Michael Vick run and with the clock counting down, connected with Jeremy Macklin on a 43-yard bomb to the Falcons' 22. After failing to get out of bounds on first down, Dury took a strike for the end zone, but the pass was too strong. With 11 seconds left, Dury kicked a 38-yard field goal, extending his lead to seven at the half. And it's good. Uh, feel good right now. I don't think I, he can stop me. So if he scores next and scores a touchdown, I'm probably just gonna you're gonna see me wind the clock down and kick a game-winning field goal. Just gotta stop Vic. You know, he's just running with Vic, running with Vic. I feel like I can score. I just can't. I don't know if I can stop him yet. So hopefully I can. The second half kicked off with another statement by Derby's defense. After stuffing the run and shutting down the passing game, Derby caught Jet with a blitz and forced him to punt. He needs to get the pass off. Derby immediately went back to his strategy of running Michael Vick, but this time Jet was ready. Vic the Falcons stripped the ball and ran it back for a 21-yard defensive touchdown, tying the score at 17. <laughs> Jet's Falcon defense continued to dominate on the next possession. On the first play of the drive, Derby's pass attempt was nearly picked off, but the next play proved even more devastating as Jets' hard-hitting defense forced another Michael Vick fumble. Sidbury picks it up off the ground. Jet started his drive in great field position on the 34-yard line, but Derby's defense stood strong. On third down, 
Derwey played perfect pass defense, using his linebacker to swat the ball, preventing a touchdown, and holding Jack to a field goal. Despite fumbling on his last two possessions, Derwey kept to his game plan. Jet was ready for it, and with a user hit, caused another fumble. But Derby's Eagles were able to come up with the ball. On third and two, Jet again came up with a huge hit, stopping Vic short of the first down. Down by three, with the ball on his own 35, Derby went for it on fourth and inches. This time, Jet's linebacker was picked up by the blocker, and Derby converted. With two minutes left on the clock, Derby was determined to score. After being stopped on another big rushing attempt, Derby took to the air, connecting with Westbrook, who carried the ball to the six-yard line. Down the side line. Unfortunately, a clipping penalty brought the ball back to the 32. After a few quick runs, Derby looked destined for the end zone. But in the final minute of the game, Jets' Falcon defense dug deep and shut down the next three plays. Facing fourth and four, with 19 seconds left on the clock, Derby kicked a 28-yard field goal, taking the game to overtime. And it's good. In overtime, Jet won the coin toss and decided to take the first shot on offense. With the ball on the Philly 48, Jet failed to convert on a crucial third down play. Facing fourth and inches, Jet approached the line, putting faith in his running game. After picking up a new set of downs, Jet continued to drive down the field with a nine-yard pass to Turner. Now approaching field goal range, Jet again went to the run. After picking up an additional six yards on the play, Jet decided it was time to go for the win as he set up for a 48-yard field goal. It's good! Falcons have won! With his win over Derwey, Jet Steele advanced to the Dallas Championship match, but more importantly, he secured the first spot in the Madden 10 Finals and will be headed to Miami to compete for a piece of the $100,000 and the title of Madden 10 Champion. Thank you.